everybody, RV Rebel Watchers and YouTubers. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who already subscribe, I am on my way to maybe make some money and I'm gonna take you along with me. How do you make money when you don't work? I mean, when you don't have an actual job. Okay, I am at my home base. I really don't have a home base like a house or anything. But um, I'm camping in my hometown, uh, right where near my son's. I am camping in my RV at my son's business, his temporary business location. They're getting ready to move. So I'm camped out there. And uh, I've been here for over a month, which is great because I get to see my grandkids and my son and everybody in my family and spend time with them. The other great thing I get to do is I get to make some money. So um, how am I doing that? Well, I'm gonna let you see. I'm gonna take you along with me. Some of the ways that I've made a couple of bucks while I've been home. And because I'm parked, I'm saving gas money because I'm not traveling, which is always a plus because gas here in the Midwest, actually in the suburbs of Chicago is like four bucks a gallon which is a lot more than it is in Arizona or Florida so um or some of the other places Wisconsin some of the other places that I travel to so I am on my way right now to make some money come along with me and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it live your life within the moment moment and don't go wait until the morning morning you know, I don't always take the highway, but I decided to take the highway today because I had to get there to this location in a short amount of time before they closed. And um, I got on the tollway didn't go hardly any distance at all and when I went to get off here at Naperville Road I saw something that wasn't there last time I was in town last year I was totally shocked this state of Illinois you know every place has got a toll I mean you can't even I think they charge her for toll to use the local bathrooms I don't know but as I got off this exit I wasn't even on that highway, only a couple of miles. And there was a exit toll charge. Oh my goodness. Stay in the middle two lanes. There only are two lanes. That in drives me crazy. In 1.3 miles, turn right into the parking lot. Okay, I'm almost there. So how am I gonna make some money? Well, I'm hoping I'm gonna make some money at the card shop. That's right. The baseball card, football card, sports cards, and- In one mile, turn right into the parking lot. Pokemon card store. So I came across these Pokemon cards. That were in my book from way, way back. Well, I'll say 2019. I realized that these cards are heavily traded and they're worth money to some people. One's man, one man's junk is another man's treasure. Let me put this. One person's junk is another person's treasure. So I contacted a expert in Pokemon cards. I sent him pictures of the cards and he sent me back an estimate. I also inquired as to where in my local area I could possibly 
take these cards and trade them in for. Go past this light, then turn right into the parking lot. And that's where I'm headed now. Now the the card shop I'm going to now, I'll give you show you right here the name of the place. Turn right. Oh, I'm turning right. World Champ Sports Cards. And it's in Lyle, Illinois. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. And they're only open till four. So I'm hoping I get there with plenty of time. There it is. Arrived. Arrived, thanks, Abby. World Champs Sports Cards. Lyle, Illinois. Let's see what they can tell me. This is my Pokemon book. And here are the cards that I have inside. I have several of these, same card. And then I have these cards here. And I have these cards, the Ancient Mew. Now, as you can see, they're still, many of them are still in the original cellophane and never even open, which means if you have your Pokemon cards graded by a professional grader, you can find out what the price is. Now, I'm told that this particular store here has a person on site who can grade your card if you choose it to be graded, but can also maybe trade them in for you. So let's see what he has to say. That's where I'm headed now. Pretty solid value. So he's going to look it up and on his iPhone or on his app, we special app. We have everything on eBay and we show everybody exactly what they go for. So these are some recent sales on the sealed ones. So it seems like it's like 30, 35, 40 bucks. But you got a bunch of them there, so that's going to add up, you know. So I'll write that down. And we'll look up the two other packs you have, too. Okay. This is my little book. All right. So you want, all right. I will, uh, when I'm there. This is a really nice card shop. And I'll give you all the information for it if you're in this area. And they may even work with you if you call in or online. We work, talk We're to always working with people. The, the owner is Pete, who you asked for. He's normally always here. And it's his shop, so he can wheel and deal with anybody. He can trade jerseys, boxes. He could do whatever. And is am I right when I say that Pete will grade your cards for you? So he doesn't grade them for you, but we have a PSA book submitted right behind you. He comes two or three times a week to pick up cards, and he sends them on a PSA. And, and he, what he is does a great job? His name's Chris. He, he's right there. And what's the fee on that? Is there a fee? It's, it starts at twenty dollars a card. Okay. So if you have a card, you know it's worth more than fifty bucks. It might be worth it for you to, to have it graded. Okay. So I got a hundred bucks for the a couple some, seals and a couple non seals. Right. And they can obviously they don't have a market for all of the cards that I have because. Maybe if I came back after those sold. Well, we just saw them online just like you could do. Yeah. You know, so. Right. And I have another gentleman who works here, but he has his own collection. So he's going to buy a couple. Here. I'm going to give one inch of me a sign. Okay. And that's something, too, that honestly you'll probably only see here. Not a lot of other shops will do that. Where right. Where the other guys step in and buy stuff. I mean, I'm also the best worker here, obviously. <laughs> but. <laughs> I wish you could have met Pete. He took yeah, because like an hour ago to go Dean's, play some poker. Uh, the husband and the wife, they told me to. Yeah, they love. They have a really good relationship. Yeah, just so they know that he knows that they sent me over here to you. So it totaled one hundred five. I would offer seventy five dollars for him. It sounds like a deal. Perfect. So that meant it was they are valued at 105. Of course, when they sell them, they need to make a profit. I'm a businesswoman. I understand that. Well, I'm not a businesswoman anymore, but so he is going to pay me 75 for the cards he chose. 
Okay, so if you want to have your cards PSA graded, really you can gallery. call World Champs and they will get you to the gentleman who grades the cards for him, for their shop. Okay, so I walked away with some money. About um, $195. That worked out perfect. Not bad for something you throw in a drawer after you go to the movies. <laughs>